Hey guys, what is up? We're gonna be doing a part three for Pokemon Bad Revolution, so we're gonna carry on where we last left off. As I said before, off stream, I found out a way how the rental pass system works. And let's see if it actually does work, because I'm gonna actually put into action right now. That's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so let's actually get into the game. Okay. So, let's pop it up here. Okay, now it looks good. All right, let's head over to Coliseum mode. Load up our file. I hope I do enjoy my battle today. Alright. So, as I said, let's see. So, we're going to head over to the battle section. Um, Coliseum battle. And, so, off stream, it usually says that. Wait. Wait, what? It didn't save? Wait, hold on. It really didn't save? Wow, it really didn't save. It's manual saves, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, so it's manual saves. Wow. Okay, so we've learned something new. We've learned that you have to manually save it. So, okay. I guess this is a redub to doing this again. I see. Okay, it seems as though we've learned an important lesson in this game. There's no auto saves. It has to be manually saved all the time, or else it won't be saved over there. Hmm. Good job, Nintendo. <laughs> Good job, Nintendo. I guess we have to play through this again. Okay, but what I actually wanted to say, though, is basically, um, regards to the rental Pokemon. So, every time you complete your Coliseum, you're supposed to go back to the Gateway Coliseum. Waterfall Coliseum, team battle, battle one. And once you go to the Gateway Coliseum, then you can sort the rentals and prove yourself to do it. So, what we're going to do... Because so sure now we have to redo this. So we're going to have to redo these Coliseums again that we have done before. So we're going to do the Warfall. But then we're going to do a new one as well afterwards. We're not actually going to go to the Gateway Coliseum just about yet. Actually, we should. We should. We should go after after the Waterfall. We're going to go for the Gateway because we need st we still need to know if it works or not. But yes, we have we have learned that the, the autosave is non-existent. Maybe I have to go to the options. So maybe I'm going to have to check after this. But manually, 
at the start of the game, there is no order save. So we have learned that um, every time we play this game, we have to order save. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to actually order save all the time. Oh, that sucks that I missed. But yeah. Because usually around these areas of these games and stuff is that it usually does autosave all the time. It really does. That's what I've learned. Like most of these games back then, like they really did autosave so you didn't actually have to manually save it. But now it comes to a point where you're like, oh yeah, you have to save. So there are still games out there that still does that type of shit. So. Well, it's it's a good lesson learned. Like, you know, sometimes gaming happens like that. And you know, it was only an hour of playtime anyway. It was really only an hour of playtime, so it doesn't really um bad too much, but glad that it's only about an hour or so. It wasn't like, you know, twenty hours and you didn't save and stuff. But at the same time it's great that we've kind of looked into this and now no. This is what it is. Yeah, usually games do have bullshit like this thrown in there, so. Uh, Pokemon Bad Revolution, you're that bullshit game. <laughs> so, which is fine. I don't mind replaying this stuff again, so that means that we don't actually have our sh um, stuff that we bought last time. Um, we're going to take a detail then, a, um, a detour, sorry. And what we're going to do, we're going to play through this. It's attack bell. But since our last save, usually we were supposed to carry on from where we last left off, isn't it? I believe. From what I can remember, because we actually had a battle last time when we saved. But after every Colosseum or battle and stuff, we should definitely um, save. So every time we finish it, we're going to save. If we do something, we're going to save. So it's all good. But at least we can um, relax and get back into action with our current Pokemon that we do actually have now in the rental selection. Oh, and also I just realized we don't actually have the rental selection from the other thing as well, from the first Gateway Coliseum. So remember that I had two different types of Gateway Coliseum unlocks and stuff. So you had my original one, JCB, and then we also had Cindy as well. Ah, yes, so that means that it did include my other save as well, which was kind of strange because that's why I said like the other save was a um, save that we was going to do, but then, hmm, this is very, very, very strange indeed. You know what, I'm going to try Spark. If it does heal up, then we're not going to use it again. Sometimes certain Thunder type Pokemon do heal up as well when using it. So we're going to try and use the Spark here. Not very effective. Okay. We've learned, we've learned it. Okay, cool. Let's try Quick Attack this time. It really doesn't make a difference. Anyway, we have been ground to the ground. And our guy doesn't want to hit us anyway. Eh, we still use quick attack. We just need a crit. If we can get a crit, the, the match will be over. That stat won't go any lower. It hits. Its speed fell. Wow, this is the longest I've ever had. Cotton spores, crick attacks, growls, paralyzed. No crits as well. Damn. 
Oh, and now I'm gonna fall in love? Oh, special attack harshly fell. Nearly there. Probably about three more hits. <laughs> three or two more hits. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Its speed fell. The blue corner oh, paralyzed again. So the paralyzers catch it up to me now. Its special attack fell. The thing I love about Pokemon at times as well is that they know that they will choose a Pokemon that's always opposite gender to you, and then they can use their love muse on you. Four times paralyzed. The red corner still it can't go any low. Like, this guy has tried his hardest to make me go low and stuff. Oh, one more, one more, one more. There we go. That Flaffy has finally faded. Oh boy. I took a good four minutes to get that done. Alright. We, we've taken down the first trainer. So. We did use Cindy. And I now remember now. And she is no longer a part of it. But now we're just going to just kind of go through this. And then we'll man. Okay. So. Usually you would charge quick save and return to the desk but we was clicking on continue so we're gonna click on continue but we're gonna have to make sure that we definitely do save manually this time which is all good all good all right so oh yeah we don't have oh yeah we do have, oh yeah now we do have a funder type this time around so um yeah Last time with Cindy, we didn't have a Thunder type, but with JCB here, of our guy here, we do have a Thunder type this time. So, I feel like Thunder types are very crucial to a lot of different Pokemon teams. Usually, when I do pick a Pokemon team, I usually do have a Thunder type around because it's usually strong for a lot of different matchups and stuff. So, and now the battle begins. There we go, we got a super effective move. Just what I like to see. The blue corner has won the first round with a single hit. The second set of Pokemon have appeared. Oh. Is this the ground type Pokemon? I think so. So I can't actually use um, Thunder type moves. Ooh. A rigid shot. Flinched? Did he flinch, Remadam? Ah, substitution, eh? My bike should break through anyway. Yep. But we're dumbs out. A sandstorm is brewing in the Coliseum. I think we need to do two more bites. Oh, well, oh, made that three more bites. Because when we use protect, we'll be able to get through here. The red corner protects against the attack. Very tactical defensive move there by Wormadam. Nicely done. So one more hit. One more bite should do it. Okay, nice hit.
It's down and out. The blue corner has two wins so far. One more win. Alright, so if I win this one, we get advanced through to the next round. So I believe I'm going to be using the Star Ravia for round 3. Yes. Star Ravia intimidates its opponent. The third set of Pokémon have appeared. Aerial Ace hits. So I think in terms of yeah, new rental passes, there's a certain team in each of these coliseums that you do face that probably has a variety of different types that you can actually collect. Now with rental passes, I don't know if you could actually switch and swap Pokemon around, but I think it's just really like you get a sit set of Pokemon and then you can kind of customize if you want it to be a boy, girl, whatever and stuff in terms of appearance. Give it a name like this, JCB, call it a junior trainer. There you go. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm actually fine with this. Where, madam? Oh no! Uh. Both trainers. It's time to think about a cautious battle strategy. What's with this Pokemon, really? Every time I pick an electric type, it counters me. The battle is getting intense. Well, at least Bite still does good damage, so. Ah yes, a crit that was needed. Yes, thank you so much. The blue corner won the first round. That's a smooth start. A Silcoon or is it a Cascoon? Okay, it's a Cascoon. So a Cascoon and a Silcoon. Cascoon always has to be a male. Silcoon has to be a female all the time. That's what I think it is. So Wurmple is a pre-evolved Pokemon and then depending on it's male or female will be evolved into one of those. Is it? No, I don't think so. I think you can get a Cascoon or a Silcoon. If it's male, female, but the evolution afterwards into a butterfly or a dust dot, I think it depends on a certain thing. So, like, if it's if it's ra yeah, if it's raised in the morning, then it evolves into a butterfly. Um, in the evening, it raises for a dust dot. Yeah. The third set of Pokemon have appeared. That's the that's the gameplay for it. Yeah. The move failed. I think help and hand is a move whereby it can only be done in doubles. Now that I think about it. Nicely done. The red corner faces a great deal of pressure. Captivate. So special attack falling. It's special attack fell. If that's the if that's the case, let's go over area instead. That's a physical attack, so it won't be done. Oh, I got poisoned by touching it. I love when uh, Pokemon's do that. Like, they have a certain thing whereby if you touch it, then it does some sort of damage to you. It could be poison, could be burn, could be frozen, could be um, rough skin. You just get hurt by uh, the skin of it. Um, there's some passive that's quite interesting at this time for the third generation or fourth generation of Pokemon.
Okay. So. I think that's good. That looks good to me. This is an important battle for both trainers. Neither side can afford to give up in this battle. And now, the battle begins. So I thought one of them evolves into this, so I, that's why I was thinking, oh man, maybe it might have ground. Okay, there we go. Nice. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking to explore all the winter Pokemons in this game. That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, before usually I would just play for the game normally with just one rental team. But now I'm looking to do multiple rental teams and see what the variety actually has for this game. <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to uh, look to do and stuff. So. The second set of Pokemon have appeared. I think it's always 50 HP for Nightshade. Oh no no, it's it's damage depending on how uh, much level the actual Pokemon has. So it's the same amount of damage. Oh nice, critical hit. But I can't actually go first anyway. Oh. Unfortunately, this is the only move I could do on it because we um, have the grass type that'll be not very effective because it's the bug type. I think it's bug and poison. Nicely done. Alright, one more to go for this guy, and then we will move on. Pearly World versus Staravia. Cool. The third set of Pokemon have appeared. Its evasiveness rose. Nice crit. Oh, crit was good there. La Papa Berry. <laughs> I think that's the first time I ever heard of that. And this should take it to go through to the next round. Well played, well played, Star Arabia. Game set and match. It's a total victory for the blue corner. I have a feeling, I have a really feeling, that Pokemon Battle Revolution wasn't just about battles in the beginning. It was probably trying to do a continuation of how it was done with the GameCube games. You know, whereby the GameCube games actually had a story whereby you can walk around and then also you can have these Coliseum battles. I believe. That it was supposed to gonna be do that at one point, but then I guess it got scrapped, and then it just turned into a place whereby you just only do battles, really. So, hmm. <laughs> I think this looks good. So I'm hoping that they do release a fire type first. 
Hopefully. Both corners are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great um, I think pluck the should be good. Begins. Yeah. First strike. It felt like a, a pounce attack than a quick attack. A fierce blow. There we go. Power. Well played. Oh yeah, it healed itself. Slander. It's down and out. The blue corner won the first round. That's a okay. start. Let's see what the next one is. I, I guarantee this time's gonna be a, a fire type now. I guarantee you. I guarantee you this is definitely going to be a fire type. Yeah, see? <laughs> I think last time it had Ponytail first. And we did this last time. Okay, one more area to do it, so he can be freed from the fire spin. So, a move that has rap or anything that makes you stay in an attack for multiple turns, I'm glad it changed itself outside of Gen 1, whereby if you do get into rap and stuff, for the next 5 turns you just get hurt by rap until it ends. But in this game, it's just like, oh yeah, you can still get trapped and hurt by rap, however you can still attack as well. So. Sounds pretty good. Third set of Pokemon have appeared. A fierce blow. Such amazing power. Luxio restored its health and feels the relief. A small hit. Okay, nice. Taken down by an intense blow. The battle has ended. It's a total victory for the blue corner. It was a quick loss, actually. That's nice to notice. All right, continue. I have a feeling that's probably the best way to do it. Okay. A hey, skip him, so we guess good. We guess good first. From the blue corner, Staravia. And from the red corner, Skip Loom. Such energy. And now, the battle begins. Aerial Ace hits. It's down already. So that's one Pokemon down. Let's see what's next. So I think I put Thunder type next. So my Lux here. Yes. The Perfect. Pokemon have appeared. 
Now the question is, does it go down in one hit or no? Okay, it does. Corner has two wins so far. One more win, and victory will be claimed. Nice. The third set of Pokemon have appeared. All three for free for super effective. Perfect. Bam, a nice, Great nicely start. done. All right, now we're in the final of the Waterfall Coliseum. So we've been here before. We know how it is and stuff. We're going to do it. We're going to take the gold. I think this will be good. I think last time it was a 3-1 victory here, and I did say that was a cute Kyogre costume. Both corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see a great battle. The stage is set and the curtain is up. What an impressive attack! That dealt some massive damage! It's not my favorite the first game. If you get a crit, it will, it will change the game around. No. No. Uh, this is this is this is terrible. We're in grave danger for the first battle. Definitely need a crit for this um, turn. No, I'm not gonna get. It. She's gonna make him use areas again. Oh no, no areas. But still super effective though. And a crit as well. So it doesn't really matter. So. Oh, well, that wasn't actually um, super effective actually. But that was a crit. Okay, we zoomed over the first round. Okay. See the second bow now. If you can turn it back. Okay. Not bad. Its opponent. The second set of Pokemon have appeared. A fierce blow. Such a nice. Power. Multiple hits. It keeps dealing damage. <laughs> no, he died. Five times here. Nearly died. Nice and star over Finish off with the aerial race. All right, perfect. It went down. One win and one loss. All right, one to one. Time to focus. The next round will determine the outcome. Um, what did I pick next? Was it Thunder? It was. Against an Apom. Hmm. Fair fight. Fair fight. But we're not first. Oh. Fake out. It hits. The blue corner cannot move. Oh, it's still faster than me. It misses though. Okay, great. Let's try to see if we can get a paralyze here. Or crit. Okay. No crit, but just that would do. They get a crit. That's a hit this time. Four hits. We have a crit. Blow. 
Nice. Two to one. Um, what's my next one? I think it's Monferno. Is it Monferno? Hmm. Might be Star Ravia. No, Star Ravia was my other one. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I know um, Gabite was my last one. Hmm. <laughs> Round four. Okay, so Gabite was next. The fourth set of Pokemon yeah. appeared. Okay. Ooh. To be honest, I was expecting a lot of damage from Arco Jet. I mean, it's not as cool as how it is in the anime Aqua Jet, but still, at least it does hit the opponent. It's like a bowling ball with water around it when they do the animation. Okay, so the second time we have won the Waterfall Coliseum. Alright, it's all clear. So, usually it should have said, oh, do you want to save now? But it doesn't. So, we have to do the saving. So, we got 350. Now, it is 725 points. And we get the Pikachu paint because we won the first time. Yes, remember that. Oh, it does say it here about to get it. Okay, so it even tells you in the game. Okay, so this is what we do. Every time we finish closing, we go back. We go to save. Save battle pass. Hmm. Save your battle pass to a re remote. Huh. We're just gonna save game. Yes. Okay. Now we know it's saved. Continue playing. Yes. We're gonna continue playing. We're gonna go into battle mode and then we're gonna go back into Coliseum. So now we know that this and this is saved. Now we can actually go back into Gateway Coliseum. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go challenge and then confirm. And then we're going to bow a new one. So now we have this, this, and this. We're going to use Cindy first to unlock this one because we don't actually have Cindy's one. So we have to do this again with Cindy. Okay, here we go. Poketopia Gateway Coliseum, Rental Battle, Battle One. It's all eyes on the challengers. From the blue corner, Charmeleon. And all right, let's get the star, Charmeleon. Such energy. The stage is set and the curtain is up. Brilliant attack right from the start. Take it out already. Skip Bloom. Skip Bloom. The red corner has already taken some serious damage. However, this battle is just getting started. <laughs> I can just imagine Chow Million doing that. All right. And lastly, Lick It Up. Both corners still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take the 
Okay. Not that bad. Let's check out Dragon Rage. Or should we not? Let's, tr let's try Dragon Rage. It's 40 HP anyway. So we can see how much HP he roughly has. That's not. Yeah, it's not that much. He's quite got a lot of HP for his level right now. Oh, it misses. I think most electric types will just perhaps paralyze you. I don't think every electric type does, but most of them have the effect to paralyze you. Ooh, that took a lot of damage. Let's go with Pidgeot because I think it's faster. Okay, first match done. Let's continue. For round two. So I feel as though Gateway Coliseum will always have like the same Pokemons, generally speaking. But it's really just to unlock more. Actually, you know what? Let's remove that actually. Let's go Charm Meaning first. I want to go with something more aggressive in the beginning. And then. I guess War Turtle, but. I'd rather get, yeah, let's go with War Turtle. But I just want something very aggressive again, something that has good attack. So, usually fire types usually have really good strong attack and speed, but the defense sucks, so. Don't we all, Alec, don't we all. <laughs> we all want to be normal to fan. Alright. Got another Lickitung coming back, so we know that Lickitungs um, do need to take a bit of a beat down to actually get down, so it's got huge HP. Ooh, Stump again. I think this might kill me, innit? Like last time. Okay, we're good. Nicely done. Screaming in my ears. Alright. One more fire fang should do it. Nicely done. Yeah, it's best to kind of just use something that's more aggressive, really. So we can actually get this um, done quicker. Delcaddy. Delcaddy is a really cute Pokemon, by the way. I actually like the design. I think it's Del Snuffy into Delcaddy. It's a very cute Pokemon. The design and everything around it. Oh no. Oh, you could flinch it with Fire Fang. That's pretty cool. Nice. Even though it's in love, you can take it out now. And with a crit. Nice. Don't worry, Charmeleon. There will be a lot of bad loved ones that will be there for you that doesn't want to hurt you at all. Okay, lastly, Spinder comes out, so. It could possibly be a clean sweep. Oh, it misses. Bam. 
All right, Charmeleon's out. We use Pidgeot because it's going to be faster. Still bug. Okay. Alright, I think that's the best call. Nice. Both corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see a great battle. The stage is set. And we saw first, first as well. Double nice. Oh, that would have been a triple nice if it faded. Oh, at least it's burned. Oh, it can actually be confused as well. And it got flinched. This is the perfect first turn. In the history of Pokemon, well, for this case, for me, I'm Pokemon Battle Revolution. So that was pretty good, actually. Everyone is concentrated on the trainer's next move. Slandom, it went down. Bombwild is sent out. The Coliseum is burning with excitement. The red corner barely holds on. The red corner cannot move. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? I wonder why Marwile is just turning their back away from me. It couldn't take it. It's down. Also, I know that certain Pokemons. I mean, well, not said. All Pokemons actually have all different genders and stuff, but it feels as though certain Pokemons are designed to be more feminine or masculine in a sense, really. Like when you look at it, it like it has more masculine or feminine features. Like we look at a Charmeleon. Yes, technically it can be a female, but usually you would assume it to be male by the way how it looks. Looks very aggressive, angry. Okay, cool. Annie, let's see. Just in case if the the right horn is there. are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great battle. The stage is set and the curtain is up. Oh yeah. Daily Bird has that present move, which is pretty cool. Right from the start. 
Oh, really? It's so super effective. So, Deadly Bird is still type, perhaps? Right, two for two. Let's see what the third one has. Loudred. Loudred. Oh, cool. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? A fierce blow. It's a direct hit. It's attack rolls. The battle has reached. Oh, just the attack for how? Cedric, so what do we have here? We have a Cedric Luxio, Reaping Bell, Vibrava. Okay, this one is a bit more. Hmm. That's what I'm looking at more. We're gonna take use Dragon at first because I'm kind of hmm, skeptic around it. A lot of different uh, multi types, but I think these are the types I want. Okay, that's good. Corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see a great battle. The stage is set, and the curtain. We're not gonna go first though. Corner makes the first attack. Five hits. You do get citrus berry health. Restored back. Try shockwave this time. Oh, not very effective now. Apon back out. He's a rock smash this time. Three hits this time. Cool, cool, cool. Rushing blow. It's down and out. Glacio is sent out. The battle has reached its final stage, and the tension is peaking. Mm, probably two more. Oh, nice. Good paralyzed. Oh, but it cures it powerless. <laughs> Did 
the Cherubi Berry did that. The mood in the Coliseum has become somewhat unsettling. All right, let's go with another Dragon Breath. Gets a hit as well. No crit there. It's just fine. But he gets a crit on his side. <laughs> Okay, so I think both of my Pokemons are weak to it. No. Okay, so Charmeleon is good. We use Charmeleon here. Charmeleon is sent out. The battle has reached its final stage, and the tension is peaking. Big hit. Okay, nice. Results are in. The blue corner has won the game. Yep, continue battling. Semifinals. Okay, we're good. Both corners are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a All right, we attack first with fire thing. The battle begins. The blue corner makes the first attack. A rigid shot. Good damage there. A fierce blow. The blue corner barely holds on. The battle opens with some intense fighting. Charmeleon starts to attack. Rushing blow. It's down and out. Well, Alright, let's go. Might be able to one shot here. Nice. He did. Okay, we might be able to one shot this one as well. Because we did play against a skip bloom earlier. Yep. Alright, now we're gonna advance into the finals. The battle has ended. It's a total victory for the blue corner. Perfect, 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 perfect. Nicely done. Alright, gonna continue. Alright, yes, now I remember this. I'm gonna go with this here. The Coliseum battle is now at its final stage. A stronger opponent is going to appear. They're ready to battle and are awaiting their trainer's orders. Do we go first? Yeah, we do go first. We use Shockwave. Nice. Oh, and a crit as well. Perfect start. Great start there. Loving it. Loving the start. Alright. Hmm. What does he choose next? Torch again. The red corner has already taken some serious damage. Showcasing the Gen 3 stars. Mm, it looks like about half HP. The battle is <laughs> well, both corners still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take the glory? Big hit. 
All right, nice faint. One more Pokemon to go. Oh, look at his eyes. <laughs> uh, I remember Mace Torchic being very sporadic. It used to be so chaotic, man. Wow. Oh, that's a super effective. Oh, we survived. We still survived just a bit. It's final stage. Slam Super effective. It's down and out. Charmeleon is sent out. All right, one of our rental passes is back for us now. Brilliant, brilliant. Set and match. The blue corner pulled off an impressive victory. The challenger won the rental battle. Good stuff. All righty. So now we got a new rental pass. And we get some more points. Oh, for the first time, cool. So, we save. Okay, game saved. Um, yes, we're gonna continue playing. Um, we're gonna look at our battle pass now. So we're gonna go into rental pass. Now we have our two rental bosses back, Cindy and JCB. Okay, cool. So before we actually end this off, I want to actually just for the uh, meantime go into Coliseum Battle again, and then we're gonna choose one of the newer Coliseums. So we're gonna try. Let's see. So we've got Neon Coliseum, or we can do Crystal Coliseum. So what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna go and do Neon Coliseum. We're not gonna finish Neon Coliseum in this part here but we actually at least going to start off here so that's what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna still go with jcb because it has the funder type pokemon so we're gonna start with that and we're just gonna do the first battle for now so it's a double battle as well our first double battle Okay, so play the real. Oh, this is great! Oh, this is fantastic! Oh my goodness, this is... I love this idea. I really do. I love it. I love it. So we have all our Pokemons in a reel and we get to spin it and randomly pick it. Oh, oh, this is fantastic. You know, this would have been great if you can actually do this format in a normal free battle or an online battle. That would have been great. I, I can't believe that they have all these cool ideas in the Coliseum, but then you can't do it in the online and um, local battle. It's just a free battle. They should definitely have this in here. Doesn't do much damage when you throw it. Gonna get the double team on the Carnivine so he can be one that is gonna be hard to kill. The move fails. 
The situation is a bit Let's give it two, two it's double teams. As they each move. Okay, so let's just put that there and then start Ravia um, areas into the grotto. Plusle, protect itself. Yeah, so we're not even attacking Plusle, so that's great. At least we killed a grotto. My poor grotto. Used by the other thing. But I feel as though you had a justified death blow. You, you you did it for me. You did it for me. But the thing is that's interesting about this because you know you're given to another trainer, so the trainer shouldn't really listen to you really. <laughs> but apparently so it's gonna listen to you now. Okay, we got a snowbo now. Snow's coming up as well. Alright. So let's see what we can do. It's doing grain. Oh, but Ingrid's leveling. Okay, spit up, I guess. Uses its <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with the Aerial Ace onto the Snova. Okay, it's a super effective and with a crit as well, so that's great. I think we're going to be using four Pokemon for this double team as well. So, uh, yeah, so one more Pokemon is going to come out for this young lady. Oh, fails to spell up a thing. Okay. Should we switch Pokemon then? I think we should switch. Yeah, we should switch. So, what we're going to do is switch out this Pokemon for the Monferno. And then we still use Aero Ace on the Beedrill. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Monferno is sent out. Plesso protects itself. Nice. Super effective. Didn't kill her. Not very effective, but it does hit a lot. That definitely does hit a lot. The twin needle. Okay, everyone's gonna get hit by the hail. Okay, Aero Ace coming through. Aerial Ace hits. It's down and out. And a fire punch. A fierce blow. Blessel barely holds on. Okay, it still survives. Okay, nice. Bam. This should take it. Nice. It couldn't take it. It's down. The concept's really great though. The whole randomizer spin. The battle has ended. It's a total victory for the blue corner. Okay, so we're going to continue battling. We're going to do another one. See, so we see a lot of fire types. Okay. Alright, let's try and get a war type here. If we can get a war type, we win. We win. We win. We win if we get a war type. Okay. Oh, he got the war type as well. Oh, he got such a good start as well. Holy shit. 
Okay, so you mainly got fire types, which is great, but we didn't get a water type. Uh, if we had a water type, it's an instant win. Illuminated by the beautiful neon light, an exciting battle is about to begin. Gonna go with the U turn on Star Ravia. The battle begins. A solid hit. Gonna bring out the Grotto. It's kind of weird of me doing this, but. Um, I'm gonna use a grotto. Its defense fell. So grotto will be the point of attack from now on, because they're gonna, he's always gonna have fire types. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we do here. And use the bite on the Primplop, and then Spark on the Monferno. See, see. So like Grotto is the point of attack. That's what they're gonna oh, keep the attacking here now. That's the strat I wanted to do. See if it actually hits and actually works. Okay, nice. It's done. Now we can always have fire types, but this turn, if they use a fire type move, then Grotto will die and then we'll be able to bring out the Star Ravia. Yeah, Star Ravia will be really good at this point here. So we're gonna focus just on Monferno on both attacks. So when Star Ravia comes in, at least it'll be super effective. The on the failed. combuskin. A rigid shot. Nice, nice scratch. Nicely done. Okay, maybe bite might finish this off, we'll see. It's being ganged up on. Okay, it's still in. Alright, so we're just going to have the bite on the Monferno, and then we're going to be using the spark on the Conbuskin. Just because of HP. Okay, nice. It's missing a lot of attacks. Oh, is this going to be a crit? It is. Oh, we did not want that to happen. Alright, it's really down to Staravia than to carry. The carry Pokemon, Staravia. But yeah, you have more of a chance to crit on Slash. Wish it did, unfortunately. Okay, Star Ravia. You're gonna have to show us what you can do. Okay, so bite on the Morgago and then area race on the Combuskin. Oh, so fast, this Combuskin. Still no fire time moves from the other uh, team as of yet. Oh, just about to survive there. Oh. Cargo cannot 
Okay, nice flinch. We're gonna switch up. We're gonna use bite on the button combustion, and then we can use the anyway it's on the Mokaga for now. We don't want to use takedown so it um, depletes more health and stuff. Oh yeah, it's not very effective. Okay. Oh boy. So this is not what I like here. Ah, uh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, use bite on the combuskin. Let's get combuskin out. That's where the real damage dealer it is. Okay, nice. Not very effective, but we got it down anyway. That's what I was intentionally gonna do. Rock for it. oh boy. Is this on the Star Ravia? Oh dude, it is. Star Ravia is done. Okay, at least it's 2v1 on the Pokemons right now. But still, this um, guy has the huge advantage here. Because I've got a fire type coming through right now. And also, it could be super effective, the rock stuff. So, um, we're going to do... Hmm. Let's try rock smash on him. And then, let's see... Gonna have to use a fire type move, so we just use fire blitz, flare bits. Ah, oh, this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be a difficult fight. When well, he's down to grow, then. Oh, super effective. Okay, we can work with that. And the defense fell as well. Okay, we can work. We can definitely work with this then. All right, so rock smash again, and then this one. Hmm. We're just gonna have to use flare bits. Does a bit more damage because his defense fell down a bit. We get hit by the recoil, then the rock splash. Let's see if this finishes it off. It does. Good job. Good job, Grotto. You'll essentially win the game for us. Nice. The results are in. The blue corner pulled off an impressive victory. So that's the second match of this Coliseum. Which was um quite difficult actually, because if he used any fire type, he would have won. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually quick save here. Um is it okay to quick save the game? Yes. Saving the game. The game has been saved. That's why I like to see. So the game has been saved. Okay, cool. So now we are back to the main menu. That's great. So now that we have it done, thank you guys for watching. Now we have learned that we actually have to manually save. We actually have kind of come back to where we last left off from the last part and stuff. And now we have actually progressed on to doing the Colosseum battle for Neon Colosseum. So the next time we should be, we'll be um, whereby we left off with the Neon Colosseum. So we can actually finish that off. And then we can do another Gateway Colosseum afterwards for another rental team. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And catch, um, stay tuned for the next part over for TwitchJCB myself. So stay tuned and stay blessed.